Hey guys, Howard here with MakerDaddy.com, and today we're doing Arduino lesson number four. And we're going to take, uh, I took some code from the original Arduino fading program, which is in the examples, and a little bit from Analog Read Serial, and I wanted to combine them into a single lesson here. And what we're going to do is we're going to be learning today about Serial. We're going to learn a little bit about uh, how we print this out to the console. And we're going to do some, uh, learn a little bit more about for loops, a different way of doing this, and put all that together into a single example. Okay. So here we see that we're, we're declaring our global variable, LED pin, it's going to be number nine. And in setup, we're setting this LED pin to be an output. Here, we're initializing our serial communication at 9600 bits per second. So basically, I'll show you where that's set in the serial monitor and the serial plotter in a minute. But we're initializing that here. Now, in our loop, we're going to actually fade our LED. We have an LED connected just similar to what we did before. I'll show that in a minute. Uh, we just have a 330-ohm resistor connected to an LED, and we have that connected to pin number 9. Now, what we're going to do here, you see this for loop. This is a little different than we had before. We still have an integer here, which is going to be our counter. We have, at this point, we're saying as long as this is less than or equal to 255 to continue with the loop. And we're going to increment this by 5. Before we had, we would say fade value plus plus, which increments it by 1. It's like a shorthand notation. But in this case, we're saying I want to increase by 5. So we'll go from 0 to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 and so forth until we hit 255, then this loop will be done and we'll move on. Now inside this loop, we're going to set the value here, or we're going to actually analog write that pin, that value. Now remember when we did this before, when you're, we were doing digital write, we only had two values. We had high and low. High is two, was basically 255 and low is zero. But for this, we're trying to set a different value. We want to set, as we said, be 5, and then 10, then 15, and 20, and so forth. So what we're doing is we're adjusting the value of the, the voltage that goes across that LED. That value, that varies the, uh, the current. So it gradually gets brighter. And then we're going to, with every, with every write, we delay by 30 milliseconds so we don't go too fast. Then after the first loop, we're going to print this out to our console. We're going to delay by half a second. So we're going to leave that on at bright for half a second. Then we're going to call another for loop. Now in this for loop, we're doing the, back, the, the opposite, the reverse. We're starting at 255, and we're going to go down by 5. We're going to say this is a decrement. This is fade value minus equals 5. So fade value equals what it is right now, and then minus 5. So we start at 255. It equal now it'll after the first loop it'll equal 250, then 245, and then 240, and so on. And as long as fade value is 255, 250, 240, as long as it's greater than or equal to zero, we'll continue to call this loop. Once this goes down to minus five, this no longer is applicable. It'll be equal to false, so we will exit this loop. Okay. Now this code is exactly the same as we saw up here. We have analog right. LED pin, face value. We're basically calling in, uh, putting in the value of the voltage here. And we're going from 5 volts back down to 0. So note that this 255, the, the 0 to 255 is a range that describes the range of voltage from 0 to 5 volts. And that's just the way it's written here. 256 is uh, an 8-bit eight eight bit number. It's 2 to the power of 8. So all we're doing is changing that number from 0 to 255, and that's what the limit is for our LEDs here for this uh, for the value. Okay, so we're going to go from 0 to 255, and we're going to go from 255 back down to 0, and that will change our voltage from 0 to 5, and then from 5 down to 0. And then at the end of this loop, we're going to print this out to the console, and we're going to delay again. All right, let's go ahead and run this code. All right, let's put this up on the board. Now, we don't see anything here, but let's take a look. We have two tools we're going to take a look at today. The first one is the serial plotter. All 
Okay, now we can see that the value here is going from zero and then back up to 250, uh, I'm sorry, 255, and then back down to zero and so forth, because we're just in a steady stream. We wait a second and then come back down, wait a second and go back up, and it's exactly what we do with our LED. At the, at the bottom point here, we're seeing that the light is off, and at the top, the light is completely bright. And in the middle, we see it going dimmer and then brighter. Okay, so that's our serial plotter. Again, we got there by going to Tools, clicking on Serial Plotter. Now, we also have Serial Monitor. Open that up. And we can see the, the numbers here going up and down, up and down, up and down. And I put that little uh, line of asterisks there so we can kind of break it up and inspect it a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and turn off auto scroll. Let's scroll up and we can see that's going from zero on to 255. And let's see, zero back and then back up. Having trouble scrolling without my mouse. There we go. Okay, so we see it goes up, 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 gets 255, then from 255, 255 it goes back down. Okay. Now here's where we set the, the baud earlier. Remember we had that in our code where it says serial begin 9600? There are various values you can use. This is the default value, and I just left it at that. Again, you can go back to, I'll, I'll give you a link to another video where they go into more detail about the different, you know, what the, the baud rate is. Another way to get to the serial monitor is over here. There's a little uh, hourglass symbol. It says serial monitor, and it'll open up the same. There we go. Okay, for lesson four, we're looking at uh, our circuit here. We are going from pin number nine, which you can tell by the, the little squiggly line there. This is a PWM, or pulse width modulation capable pin. And we follow this around, we see that we're connecting this uh, pin to the one side of the resistor. It's a 330 ohm resistor. The other side of the resistor is connected to the long leg of the LED. The short leg of the LED is connected back to ground. We see our ground pin here. And notice the delay. This will actually light. It'll light up. We hold it for a second and then we let it die back down. And we hold it and we let it uh, go back up and back down. And this is called the, uh, the fade in the uh, original or Arduino code. We just modified this a bit, and we're going to print this out to our serial port or our serial monitor, and we'll look, take a look at it on the serial plotter as well.